With names like Scotty Barnes, Evan Mobley, and Elper and Shen Gun, the 2021 NBA Draft will go down in history as one of the best of all time. With the first pick, the Pistons chose Cade Cunningham. At the time, it was seen as a solid selection. However, it soon appeared as though Detroit may have wasted yet another high pick in a legendary draft like they did back in 2003 when they took Darko Milicic with the second selection over future Hall of Famers Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade. Leading up to the 21-22 season, Cade missed part of the team's training camp, then all of the franchise's preseason games due to injury. Then in his debut in October 2021, despite grabbing 7 rebounds, he only scored 2 points, which was the fewest points scored by a number 1 pick since one of the worst first overall selections in NBA history, Anthony Bennett, for the 2013 draft. Despite some initial concerns though, a month after his first game, Cade secured his first ever triple-double with 13 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists, becoming the youngest player in Pistons history to do so. Ultimately, Cade would come in third in voting for the Rookie of the Year after Mobley and the eventual winner, Barnes. Given the success of his rookie season, Cade had a number of noteworthy games during which he made history. One such contest was in January 2021 between the Pistons and the Suns when he had his first ever game in which he scored 21 points. Though, that wasn't the most memorable aspect of the contest because that game also saw him get his first ever ejection. During the third quarter, Cade picked up two technicals with his second and the subsequent ejection coming after a baseline dunk after outrunning Cameron Payne and dunking on Jalen Smith. There's just so much movement and very little standing around. Cade was immediately hit with his second technical and thrown out of the game after his celebratory gesture was interpreted as taunting. After the game, Cade claimed that he wasn't even pointing at Payne. Rather, he was gesturing to his friends and family who were behind Payne near the Pistons bench. Adding weight to Cade's version of events is the fact that, although he dunked on Smith, there was Payne who he was supposedly pointing at. To his credit, despite the absurdity of his ejection, Cade took the blame for the incident, acknowledging that he should have assessed the situation better. Ultimately, if nothing else, Cade's ejection taught him a very valuable lesson about the NBA and how strangely the rules of the league can be implemented at any moment for any reason, whether justified or not, due to an innocent mistake on part of either a player or an official, if not both. And they're calling a check on Cade. He pointed at somebody. Taunting? <laughs>